Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 28th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. We're going to check out looking at our sun as we had a large plasma filament destabilize and head back to the southern regions of the sun. And we have our outgoing sunspot, which was very active releasing three CMEs, but then no space weather affecting us. We had a small ramp up in the wind speeds due to the coronal holes, but that space weather was knocked way over top of Earth, I'm sure. Just looking at the left side there, you can see that large rip, the filament, plasma filament, and there was also one in the southern region as well. You can't really see it on this view, but you can definitely see the disruption in our heliosphere. Now to this one, you can really see the plasma filament erupt here, rip away, and then also this one building and then heads back to the pole. So stay aware and prepared. Our sun is still very quiet, but when it gets active, it's going to be hectic. Looking at five day forecast here, brought to you by Meteorith and Meteo Mike. End of the five day forecast, there will be some snow coming to Calgary, Alberta. Cold temperatures still sticking around through the night, but this weekend coming up, we're gonna be seeing some definitely seeing some spring-like temperatures as it's supposed to get up to 12 to 13 degrees Celsius. All across southeastern United States still have large low pressure system coming through so flood warnings throughout southeastern United States and the Midwestern as that snowstorm has brought quite a bit of snow and flooding throughout Nebraska. But there are many states that are flooding right now Overlooking South America, a lot of daytime evaporation. And here is that large low pressure center that affected Brazil a couple days ago. Kind of a weather bomb that came out of nowhere. Still a very large and strong low pressure cell heading straight south. Also in the Southern Hemisphere, looking at some very large low pressure systems and strong winds. Watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout these regions. Parts of Australia, another tropical depression forming later in the week. But Tropical Storm Trevor, Tropical Depression Trevor, brought a lot of flooding conditions across southeastern United or Australia, as well as Queensland. And they're going to be seeing more this week. As that system reforms after leaving Australia. So that's crazy. It formed and ran across the southeastern United States or southeastern Australia and ran straight south across the continent. Just some wacky, wacky weather, guys. Stay aware and prepared. And thank you for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Watching cold temperatures and snow throughout parts of Turkey and Afghanistan. The next few days, higher elevations, but definitely a lot of moisture is falling in these regions as well. Mediterranean low pressure system that it formed. And all across Europe, it is still very dry. Not a very good start to their spring. They need some rain. So I wanted to show you here that the Pacific Disaster Center is showing so many disasters from around the world. You can download this app for yourself and stay aware and prepared just like I do. But I wanted to point out all of the flood warnings because they are literally worldwide. 
They're not just being state specific here in the United States. They're taking over whole regions, southeastern United States, midwestern United States, as well as South America dealing with a lot of floods as well. Bolivia and Paraguay. Due to massive operation. And it's happening all over the place. All across the world. Atmospheric rivers are forming, almost encompassing our hemispheres. Floods Mozambique and Zimbabwe from, of course, Tropical Storm Idai. Floods in Iran. Floods in northern Afghanistan. Central and northern. And of course, Australia as well. Southwest Queensland, Barclay, and as well the western, northwestern tip of Australia from Tropical Storm Savannah. And we still have Joanna there in the South Indian Sea heading straight towards Antarctica. Strange stuff. Let's get to earthquakes. Largest earthquake being in Tatal, Chile, 5.4. The last 24 hours, that's the largest earthquake. We had some movement as well in El Salvador, La Libertad, and Porto El Tri... Triofun... Triofun? Yeah, whatever. As well, many earthquakes in the geysers. California. Another very deep earthquake in Fiji as well. 598 kilometer depth. Wow. That's very deep as well. Watching a large line of earthquakes heading up the western part. Ring of Fire 5.2 and a 5.0 here in Guam as well. 4.7 in Hachijujima, Japan, and as well as Nanayo, Japan. 4.6. And that was pretty deep as well. So we definitely saw the uptick that we were expecting due to the Mercury retrograde as well as the space weather that was coming. But these rare earthquakes in Africa is still happening. Rare earthquake here in Somalia yesterday. And a 4.3 in Turkey as well. So earthquakes in diverse places and it's happening. God bless you all. God bless you for watching and tuning into Morning Dew every day. And thank you. Thank you so much. Can you say earthquake swarm in Alaska? Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Definitely seeing earthquakes everywhere, not just along the Ring of Fire and our regular earthquake prone zones. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.